Let's take a look at how you can use array formulas to do calculations in Google Sheets and make your calculations stronger and a little bit easier. So I want to add up all the items across each of these rows down column D. And so what I could do with a basic formula is um, add them up equals B2 plus C2, enter, and I get the value in D2. Now what I've done with this sheet is I've automatically set it to green highlight anything that is a formula. And so once I've created this sum in column D, I can copy it down the entire column and I, you can see I have all of these formulas adding this up for me. And that's fine and all, but I have to create all those formulas and if something were to change, I'd have to update all the formulas. And it's just a little bit more likely that something can be wrong with one of those. With an array formula, you create one formula and it populates all the values down the column and it lets you have a little bit easier because it's only one formula, less to change, less chance of something going wrong. There's three steps to creating an array formula, and we start off with our basic formula. So the formula we have for row two, we're going to start off with that. So we're going to do again equals B2 plus C2. Now the next step we're going to do is add array formula around that. Now you can manually type in array formula or you can put your cursor in that formula function bar up here and hold down control shift enter on Windows or command shift enter on Mac and that automatically adds array formula and the parentheses around your formula. So that's step two, wrap it in the array formula. Step three is to expand your ranges. So we originally only did B2, but we want our first value to be all of column B. So we'll do B2 colon B, and that will look at the entire column. And the C2 is the same thing. We want to look at the entire column C. So C2 through C is our second value range. Once we've expanded the ranges, that's the third step. Hit enter, and you'll see the values populate all the way down the column. But you'll also notice the only cell of the formula is E2, the array formula. So in other words, I can... If I accidentally try to delete one of the values somewhere else on this column, nothing happens. And if I accidentally input my own value somewhere else in column E, I'll get this error that shows me something was manually changed so that it's not working. And for these reasons, that array formula really helps keep my data good and prevent errors. And now if I need to update this, all I need to do is update this top array formula and everything will update down the sheet.